Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Mary Nimi, a woman missing from Arvada, Colorado. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing so Mary can be reunited with her family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. Uh, the video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. Mary Nimi, then 40, is missing from Arvada, Colorado. Her last date of contact was April 12, 2001. She was observed leaving the Women in Crisis Shelter. Mary's birthday is July 1, 1960. It is possible that she's associated with a blue 1988 Jeep. The areas I would like to search first are the Jim Baker Reservoir, Lake San Graco, Hidden Lake, Lake Arbor, Stanley Lake, Welton Reservoir, Blunn Reservoir, Ralston Reservoir, Upper Long Lake, Sloan Lake, Crown Hill Lake, Crest Kestrel Pond, sorry, and the Maple Grove Reservoir. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Give our videos a thumbs up and share the movement with those you influence. Feel free to send us an email for equipment donations, cold case information, and a missing person report with a vehicle. You're all so great at helping me grow this channel. Truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 100% of the donations received stay in the organization to purchase sonar equipment and other necessities that will help families and the environment for years to come. Your contributions from simply subscribing, watching our content, to liking and sharing financial support and the donations make it possible to offer our services free of charge. I've been getting emails from families of missing people who thought their loved ones were forgotten, but they are seeing the movement just please know that ultimately I want to live a road warrior lifestyle, reunite the families with their loved ones. We'll spend summers in the northern states, winters in the southern states. Our first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers and you must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play so you can see the entire search area. You might see something that I missed. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and remember that we love you.